Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 317. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 317 to 23. Hey, here in this video, we want to talk about the mid function equals mid. The mid function extracts text. So right here, we want to extract the middle product ID. So there's a 52, a 61, an 89, a 21. And I've done videos on the mid before, but here I want to concentrate on um, understanding that is it is a pattern you need to recognize to exploit to extract the text. So we'll start with a simple one. The pattern here is we have a product ID, and there's always two numbers, then a dash, the two numbers we want to extract, and another dash. Now, we can count, because this is um, the pattern here is always going to be 1, 2, 3, and the fourth character is the uh, character we want to start extracting from. And we're always going to have one, two characters that we're going to extract every single time. So if you have a setup like this, mid is easy. You just click on the text, comma, the starting number is going to be 4 for us, comma, and the number of characters, 1, 2, from the starting position close parentheses, and then you can copy, control enter, and then copy it down. And so that works just fine. If you get that kind of pattern, it's real easy. You can hard code these in because those numbers aren't going to change. Let's try another one where we have to recognize the pattern. Uh, the, the pattern here is we have to extract, or the, our goal is to extract numbers between dashes when the pattern is start number is always after a dash. So here, Oh, look, there's the dash. So after the dash is our start number. But there's three, four. The dash is the fourth character. Here it's the third character. Here it's the fourth character. Here it's the third character. So we're going to have to do something different here. Um, and then after that, the number of characters is always two. So we still have our only two characters to extract. Let's do equals mid. And the text is going to be this right here. The starting number, hey, how are we going to find that dash? Well, we use the find function, find. And the find will, in a text string, if we say find the dash, it'll say, oh, that's in the position 3. Oh, that's in position 4. So find here, the find the text. The text we want to find is in quotes, dash, double, end double quote comma within what? Within that right there, and close parentheses. Now we can see right off the bat, if we highlight it and hit our F9 key, that that gives us 3 there, which is what we want. Control Z. And then comma, the number of characters. Well, our pattern is 2, so we can hard code this in. Close parentheses, Control Enter. Oh, that didn't work, because 1, 2, 3. Oh, we actually don't want to start at 3. We want to start at. Uh, F uh, number four character. So we edit this and we'll add a one. Control enter and then double click and send it down. So when you're trying to figure out patterns, sometimes you don't get it the first time, but whatever answer you get is good information. And we were getting dash five when we really wanted five two. So then you go and change your formula. All right, so here's our third example of mid. And the pattern we have to recognize here is not as simple as the, the earlier ones. We have product IDs. And what we're trying to extract is between the dashes, the numbers. So three numbers there, four numbers there, two here, and two here. Well, we can use a similar approach uh, for if we use mid, we can find that dash, right? So we, we can uh, find a starting position. We'll add one and we'll be able to go there. The only trick is going to be how to find the length of the numbers between the dashes. So I'm going to start, just see if I can figure out a formula to calculate 3 there, 4 there, 2 here. And I'm going to use the replace function, or start with that. What does replace do? You say what part of the text string you want to, or are designating as getting replaced, and then we're going to replace it with a blank. I'm going to start by replacing everything from the first character to that dash with a blank, and we're left with 522 dash, and then whatever's there. So replace, and the old text is right here, comma, the start number, we're going to start at 1, comma, and we want to go all the way to that dash. So I'm going to do find in double quotes, dash, double quotes. So we want to find that, comma, within this. And that'll give us the uh, position right there. 
So right now, replace says, oh, 1 all the way to there. And we're going to comma. And the new text is double quote, double quote. That's a blank. Close parentheses. So control enter. Replace has just um, replaced all those beginning characters with a blank. So now we're left with this. Now, um, I want to go ahead and try and find that right there. Because within this text string here, if I find that dash, that'll give me 4. And I can subtract 1, and that give me the length f2. So I'm going to find, um, and this right here is going to be the text string that we're looking in to find something. So there's only one dash in that. So find, and there's the text. I mean, uh, double quote, dash, double quote, comma. That's the text we're trying to find within this. But remember, that only has one dash. Close parentheses, and watch this. We'll control Enter. That gives us 4. If we subtract 1 from that, I'll hit F2, subtract 1, and then double click and send that down. And that'll give me exactly the length of all those uh, uh, product of the numbers in between the dashes. I'm going to click here, hit F2, and I'm going to copy this. That, that whole little thing right there is going to be the third part of mid, which we needed. We need to say how many characters we're extracting. Control copy, or Control C. I'll just delete all these. And now we'll use our mid. We did the hard part, so we'll do the easy part. The text is that, comma. The starting position is going to be the find that plus 1, so find. What do we want to find? In double quotes, dash, comma, within this, close parentheses, plus 1, because right now it's finding that. We need to say, hey, start right there. Comma, and now I'm just going to control V for the number of characters. Control V, close parentheses. So that formula right there, if I control Enter and double click and send it down, will uh, extract the middle part between dashes. So it um, sometimes takes a little uh, digging to get your formula. There's even uh, got a different formula over here with a bunch of fines in it. And there's actually a bunch of other types of formulas you could do also. So the key. The key is to recognize a pattern. Here, this one, we had a pretty complicated pattern because we had to find a dash and a length that were variable. And the one up here wasn't so hard. We had to find that first dash, which was varying, but the length was staying the same. And of course, this one, the easiest of them all, we could hard code the numbers in because it always started at 4 and went to 2. Now, one other thing about this. Oh, the mid function extracted a number right, but it delivered it as text to the cell. Now, there's lots of ways. Uh, and you can tell because it's aligned to the left. Uh, if you were to evaluate it, if we highlight this and hit the F9 key, you can also see that it's in quotes, which tells you that it is text. If it was a number, it would not have quotes around it. I'm going to click Escape. So how do we do that? There's lots of ways. I'm just going to add 0 like this. Adding 0, multiplying by 1, divided by 1, raising it to the first power. Uh, double negative, all will convert text, uh, a number as text, back to a number. So I Control Enter, and I double click and send it down. I actually, if you download this, there's a bunch of examples uh, to the side. There's a uh, double negative, I mean a, a 0. There's a double uh, a multiplying by 1. There is a double negative. There is a uh, divide by 1. And there's even an exponent. Now, why are there so many ways? Because sometimes it's more convenient to do one of them. Sometimes the double negative or the multiplying or dividing or whatever. Uh, so in our next video, 318, we'll actually use this trick with VLOOKUP. All right, we'll see you next trick.